Hello team, welcome to you in my new video on prototype design pattern. What is prototype design pattern? When it is required, how we will you? Let's see that. Prototype design pattern. Prototype pattern is a creational design pattern that is of a solution for solving different problems that occurs during object creation. Prototype pattern is required when object creation is time consuming and costly operation. So we create objects with existing object itself. One of the best available way to create objects from existing objects are clone methods. Clone is the simplest approach to implement prototype pattern. Whether there are other approaches also? Yes. But clone is the simplest approach. In spring, we have prototype as a bean scope. So at the back end, it is implementing a prototype design pattern only. Deep cloning or shallow cloning. Now, depending on your requirement, your business need, you can have a deep copy of the object or shallow copy. Always remember, while using a clone to copy, whether you need a shallow copy or deep copy, it is your business requirement. If you need a deep copy, you can use serialization as a hack to get the deep copy. Using a clone to copy is entirely a design decision. When I am saying shallow copy, basically my both the variables are pointing to the same object. When I am saying deep copy, I have variable x which is pointing to object O. I have another variable which is pointing to another object O2. This O and this O2 are different objects. So if I make any change to this O, this will only reflect to x but it will not reflect to x2. But here, if I made any change to O, it will reflect both on X and X2. This is the main difference between shallow copy and deep copy. And depending on our requirement, we will select one of them. But by cloning, if you can just go by a new operator and create an object using a no argument constructor or any constructor and create an object, then why to do cloning? Actually, when we are working in a Traditional Java programming code for Java, we just go and set my object class A is equal to new class A and I have the object in my head. But this is not the real life example. In a traditional way, it is fine, but it is not a real life example where sometimes I don't have all the parameters of the constructor and I have to go and create a call to my DB, go and fetch data from the network or from disk. So it is a costly project sometimes. And when it is a costly project, then to create an object is not easy part. And if it is not easy, then what is the solution? That solution will come from the cloning. That is you will have the existing object and you will clone that object and use that. What type of cloning? It is depend on your business need. If a large number of such objects needs to be created, you can avoid repeating those steps for each object by initially creating a prototype and then making copies of it. When to use the prototype design pattern? When a system should be independent of how its products are created, composed and represented. When the classes to instantiate are specified at runtime. For example, by dynamic loading, or to avoid building a class hierarchy of factories that parallels the class hierarchy of products. Or when instances of a class can have one of only a few different combinations of state. How to use cloning? Actually, when I am cloning something, I should my class should go and implement clonable interface. If I don't do so, then it will go and throw an exception, clone not supported exception. Clone is a marker interface whose requirement is just comes at the time of compilation. It doesn't have any variable or method inside it. It is a marker interface, empty interface like serializable. But it is required. If it is not there, it will go and give or throw this clone not supported exception. Now you have a class which is implementing clonable. Now what you can do? You can just go a call to super.clone and it is done for you. But when you are doing super.clone, you are performing a shallow copy. 
Now, if you want a deep copy, you have to do something else. That we will see in a demo. Thanks.